Hello everyone. Prime Minister formalization of Micro Food Processing Enterprises PMFME scheme adopts one district one product approach to reap the benefit of scale in the micro food processing sector. Under this, we Niftam Thanjavur are organizing a webinar on pulse processing and value addition. Respective Chief Guest Dr. Sham Narayan Jha, Deputy Director General, Division of Agriculture Engineering, ICR New Delhi. Respected Guest of Honor Dr. Shiv Sevak Sir, Director ICR Indian Institute of Pulses Research Kanpur. Honorable Director of Niftam Thanjavur Dr. C. Anand Ramakrishnan Sir. Distinguished Guests and Speakers for the Technical Sessions, Ladies and Gentlemen, a pleasant morning to all. With immense pleasure, I would like to share that the today's webinar is on pulse processing and value addition has been organized under the banner of Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav, promoting the Art Nirbhar Bharat as the part of the scheme Prime Minister Formalization of Micro Food Processing Enterprises, PMFME. So, may I now invite Dr. V. R. Sinija Madun, Professor and Head, PMFME Coordinator for the welcome address, please. Most respected Chief Guest, Dr. S. N. Chasar. Deputy Director General, Agriculture Engineering, ICAR New Delhi, and respected guest of honor, Dr. Shiv Chebak sir, Director, ICAR Indian Institute of Pulses Research, Kanpur, respected uh, Director, Niftam Tanjabur, Dr. C. Anand Ramakrishnan sir, reputed speakers from different organizations, uh, dear participants, um, my dear colleagues and students, a pleasant morning to all. So, as Silke mentioned, this is the 11th national webinar which we are organizing under this ODOP uh, series, one district, one, pro one district, one product series under Atmanirbar Bharat Abhiyan. And as we all are aware, it's almost going to be uh, one and a half years over after launching this uh, Prime Minister's formalization of micro food processing enterprises scheme by our ministry uh, in collaboration with the state as well as the uh, central governments to upgrade the micro food processing uh, industries or enterprises spread across our country. So uh, this ODOP is the most catchy slogan under this PMFME scheme to promote the local products uh, nationwide and also for uh, supporting the export of these uh, localized products. So today uh, we are organizing this pulse processing and value addition actually under this uh, ODOP. 10 districts are selected from five states, uh, pulses as the ODOP. So uh, with this brief introduction, uh, it's my uh, pleasure to uh, welcome our uh, chief guest for today's webinar, Dr. Uh, S.N. Jasar, uh, an eminent uh, agricultural scientist, food scientist, uh, who has contributed uh, immensely to the uh, food processing fraternity. And also, sir, is always a well-wisher for uh, Niftam Tanjavur. And uh, so on behalf of uh, director and all the staff and all, uh, on behalf of all the participants, I welcome you, sir, for the inaugural session of uh, this uh, seminar. And then next, I would like to welcome our uh, guest of honor. He's the most apt person for being the guest uh, for today's webinar as it is on pulse processing and value addition. So on behalf of all the participants, staff, uh, director, and all the students, I welcome you, sir, for the inaugural session of this webinar, uh, Sevak, sir. And uh, next, I would like to welcome our director, sir, who is always behind us, supporting us, motivating us to organize such type of webinars. So on behalf of everyone, I welcome you, sir, for this inaugural session. And uh, uh, next, the speakers uh, who has uh, uh, agreed for delivering the uh, various sessions. Actually, we are trying to cover the entire aspects of uh, processing, value addition, FSSA regulations, even the DPR preparations, marketing, branding, uh, to help our budding entrepreneurs uh, to apply for this PMFME scheme and also to upgrade themselves. So all the speakers who will be joining with us today, welcoming you all for this inaugural session. And uh, then lastly, but not the least, all the participants, they are the backbone uh, behind organizing such type of webinars who will be always supporting us 
uh, by their attendance, by their presence. So welcoming you all for this uh, webinar on pulse processing and value addition. And also I'd like to welcome all my dear colleagues, students and all the staff for this inaugural session. Hope that this seminar will be beneficial to all the participants who will be attending today. Thank you very much. Once again, welcoming you all. Jai Hind. Thank you, ma'am. So we have with us our honorable director, Dr. C. Anand Ramakrishnan, sir. Sir is the director of National Institute of Food Technology Entrepreneurship Management, Tanjavur, from the year 2016. His research endeavors well documented in the form of 150 impact factor publications with an average impact factor of 5.22, two international patents and seven Indian patents. He is also the author of eight book chapters and 64 book chapters published by the coveted publishers. Sir was awarded with the prestigious ICAR Rafi Ahmed Kidwai Award for the outstanding research in the agriculture sciences in the year 2019 and also awarded with the Tata Innovation Fellowship 2019-20 by TPT Government of India. Under his able leadership, Niftam Tanjavur has won several laurels in the last five years and also achieved INI Institute of National Importance. This year, Niftam Tanjavur is also being recognized uh, in the Band of Excellent under the category of Institute of National Importance and Central Universities Technical in the Atal Ranking of Institutions on in Innovation Achievement in the year 2021. We welcome you, sir. I would like to invite sir for the presidential address, please. Thank you, Dr. Uh, Dr. Sinijar, uh, Silky, and all the participants. Uh, today, it's the first time I'm seeing the 10 o'clock itself overwhelmed the uh, response. More than 200 people have come around 10 o'clock now, almost 300 uh, participants. It shows the importance of the event and also the guests who are come today. And on behalf of uh, Deftam Tanjavur, all the agriculture engineers and food technologists, fraternity, I'd like to congratulate our DDG sir, SNJ sir, for taking the highest post in the country. Congratulations, sir. And definitely, we all, we hope uh, to move forward. And because one segment is not much given important to uh, maybe political systems or the policy makers, I think you can make uh, that uh, gap what we uh, lost some time. And definitely, you will make uh, things to be happened, rolled out in the most of the schemes or the policy decisions, what is taken in the higher level. Definitely, sir, we are very much confident. And we wanted to work very closely with you, sir, with ICR and all other institutions, whatever you can guide us how to move forward. Definitely, we are hoping a long relation with you, sir. Once again, thank you so much, sir. And uh, maybe uh, participants today may be well aware of our uh, SNJ's uh, contribution to the society. Especially today, even Prime Minister is talking about Makana. Very early time itself, uh, SAR has taken as a Makana as the product to be promoted and the important and the processing, everything has been done and the documented very well. That reaches the, uh, now in the field is the, happy to see sir, how the science can reach out the uh, land. That's you demonstrated very well and we hope to see that more such product is going to be a market and coming to the our uh, field. And we are all, we wanted to have a, such a knowledge sharing from your side, sir. Once again, thank you so much and uh, congratulations for taking the DDG post, sir. And uh, today's guest of honor, uh, Sivsek, sir. And the sir is a well-known uh, person in the area of uh, chickpea. And sir is a breeder and a lot of variety has been developed in the chickpea. And even sir took over the uh, director of the Pulse Research Institute of ICR. And is the opt person to give some guidance and the force how we can go for the pulse processing in our country because we per capita we are not taking as per the united nation advice what is that supposed to take by the pulses almost 20 percent protein where we'll get it uh, other than the pulses but our people still we are not taken that much input on, from the pulses one side increasing the cost of the proteins because on the covid background we need to take more protein if non-vegetarian is not there, vegetarian people, where we will get the proteins? We need to educate our people to take more pulses. And this is the highest amount of other nutrient also is there. So that's what definitely uh, today's uh, uh, 
conference and today's webinar definitely will help to promote the pulse processing in our country and value addition from the pulses is the most important even today uh, mr tirumurugan has joined is the uh, uh, pres state president of Tam tamil nadu appalam making uh, uh, un uh, associations and uh, india is almost exporting almost 34.5 us million dollar puppet itself is uh, exported from india so the total most of the raw material comes from the pulses a uh, lot of issues still we are facing that puppet industry is facing that so how to solve sorted out this problem for the association recently we had a long dialogue with the the whole association of who makes the puppet and they wanted something enzymatic treatment or other methods from us definitely along with uh, nictam tanjau icr pulse research institute and all other uh, icr institutions as cfpr we will try to help uh, our uh, industries because that is the one export market we need to link it then only our farmers will get more value per hectare whatever they produce that's what we try to hope and today that what we made it like a higher and sir has joined from the mssr of because they are uh, uh, promoting the pulses in the uh, most of the states and uh, he is the vast experience in the area of the pulse and value addition dr jagan from the niftam tanjavur and we made it a such a manner today is it's awareness programs and you get some feel about how to do that and uh, dr sinija has mentioned about one district one product that's not a new concept one village one uh, product japan has uh, experimental in 1970s and it is a uh, well uh, received and fios already is promoting one country one product in the in this line definitely pulses has taken almost 10 districts in our country so we need to go each and every product like that and we need to make lot of missionaries and uh, make awareness for people to apply under this scheme not only uh, entrepreneurs farmers producers companies self help groups all can apply under the pmfme scheme most of the applicants applications and the dps everything is uploaded in the niftam tanjau website please uh, do use it and maybe the uh, session on the pmfme session they will explain how to fill the applications what is the process and how the banking has given the loan under this scheme so definitely this will help uh, more i have i could able to see lot of farmers producers companies today joined please uh, use this uh, opportunities including for example cottage level puppet making is not uh, needed much uh, input cost so definitely take the idea and apply under this even 10 lakhs you can make the cottage level puppet making that's what we wanted even self-help group each self-help group's members will get 40,000 rupees per tool head each head so last three years you are running the self-help groups of farmers producers company you can avail under this scheme so already one year over but we want more applicants from the who are uh, cultivating and who are practicing the, the pulses who produces please convert yourself as the entrepreneur that's what we wanted to know once again i welcome our uh, ddg sir for the today's uh, program and also director of pulse research institute to give us your special address definitely that will help not only for the whole our institute or the who are participants this will be recorded later we will float it into our social media so all the stakeholders who are involved in the pulse processing will get benefited out of this once again thank you so much sir and just for joining today's meeting thank you thank you so much sir uh, respected guest of honor, Dr. Shiv Sevak, sir, Director ICR, Indian Institute of Pulses Research, Kanpur. Sir was educated at Kendriya Vidyalaya, Delhi, Kant, and completed his IS Kendri's education, and then graduated from CCS, HAU, Hisar, and completed his post-graduation from NDUA and T. Faisabad, Uttar Pradesh. Sir has done PhD in genetics and plant breedings from CSAU and T. Kanpur and joined a scientist plant breeding in the year 1984 at Directorate of Pulses Research at present known as the ICR Indian Institute of Pulses Research. Sir worked as chickpea breeder and developed chickpea variety DCP923. From the year 1997, he worked in AICRP chickpea and contributed significantly in evaluation of advanced materials and release and notification of chickpea varieties for different parts of the country. As a nodal scientist of AINP on arid legumes evaluated, he developed entries of cowpea, horse cramp, moth bean, cluster bean, and contributed significantly in the development of varieties and production and protection technologies. Previously, 
Sir was acting as a nodal officer at Legumes in the year 2015 and then head of the Crop in Improvement Division and project coordinator from March 2021. He has more than 30 years of experience in the agriculture research, especially on the pulses crop. We welcome you, sir. May I now request, sir, for the guest of honor address, please. Most respected today's chief guest, Dr. Jha, sir, DDG Agricultural Engineering at ICR Headquarter, Director of NIPTEM, Dr. An Anand Ramakrishna ji, speak, today's speak, speakers in different sessions, participants from various institutes, universities, and students. First of all, I am also congratulating Dr. Jha Saab for taking as DDG, Agriculture Engineering at ICR Headquarter. So, sir, accept my congratulations. As we know, the pulses are the chief source of protein in vast vegetarian population of the nation. Pulses production was just round about 17 million tons during 1415, and it was static during that period. But after the efforts of policy planners and some research advancement, we could able to achieve 25.7 million tons of pulse production during this year. So this is the all-time high production we have achieved in pulses. In pulses, pulse production, the role of chickpea is there. In chickpea, the production is around about 12 million tons and rest other pulses they are contributing and thus the total production was 25.72 during 2021. As far as research organization under NAS systems is there, is, this uh, whole system is instrumental for developing high yielding disease and pest resistant varieties in different pulse crops. Indian Institute of Pulses Research, Kanpur is the national institute and under the ages of Indian Council of Agricultural Research. We have made presence throughout the country through all India coordinated research project. We are having four PICRPs stand, stand, uh, stationed at this institute. One is AICRP on chickpea, another is pigeon pea, another group of crops, mular, in which we are covering moong, urad, lentil, lathyrus, rajmas, and field pea. This is the mular group of AICRP is there. One we have, have, we are having all India network project on arid legume crops in which we are dealing with four crops just like moat bean, cow pea, horse gram and one crop is there which is not a pulse but is a leguminous crop. It is a very important crop. It is a cluster bean. It is used for the extraction of gum. Guar gum it is very famous and it has got international market also. So at our institute we have various divisions for basic and strategic research, this is crop improvement, biotechnology division, physiology, biochemistry, microbiology in basic science and crop production dealing with entomology, pathological and nematological problem. And we have social science division in which agriculture extension, statistics and computer application and agricultural economic scientists are there. So, in this way, Institute has been instrumental in developing technologies, varieties, and also disseminating the technologies to the farmers in nearby districts of the Institute. 
sir we are also having four regional stations one at dharwad another at bhopal and one regional station we we have established in bikaner for especially for the arid crops just like moat bean cluster bean and cowpea and when we are now establishing near bhubneshwar in odisha district in khurda for moong bean and urd bean and rice fellow cultivation in this north eastern part of the country pulses are the rich source of protein which are compensatory to cereal protein that is why most of the indian diets are perfect combination of cereals and pulses throughout the country amino acid composition of such vegetarian diet is better than the animal proteins in our dietary system we, we are getting 55% protein from cereals 25% from the pulses and remaining 18% is taken from animal sources among pulses lentil have the maximum protein of 25% and pigeon pea is 21% and in between all pulses they are have the protein content and pulses are the cheapest source for the protein when compared to other animal proteins so we have also developed uh, certain varieties just like biofortified varieties in lentil which uh, also contain i iron and zinc also so one variety we have recently developed in chickpea it is a, a high protein content variety in which uh, average percentage of protein is just around about 26% so we are developing biofortified and high nutri- nutritionally valued uh, varieties beside e- yield so pulses are low input crops grown by the small and marginal far- farmers in rain fed areas after green revolution of farming shifted towards wheat and paddy leading to the shortfall in availability of pulses of less than 40 g per day per capita against the recommended level of 60 g by icmr and the steep hike in the market prices on pulses during 1617 forced policy planners and various policy various policy interventions such as availability of quality seed enhanced minimum support price maintaining buffer stock of pulses assured farmers to adopt cultivation of pulses iapr has played a crucial role in making quality seed available through vast network of 150 seed hubs across the country these policy interventions led to all time all time high pulse production of 25 million tons recent trends increase indicated sustainable production of pulses but to match domestic demand still we are we are importing pulses so present demand for pulses is around about 27 million tons and it will be we increased by 39 million tons by 2050 initially the target was food security but now focus has been shifted on pulses for nutritional security also being rich source of protein pulses attacks insects and feel its in the its itself feel itself and during storage insect pest damage can be very high under hot and humid climate condition the maximum post harvest losses are attributed to storage and milling in case of pulses storage and milling contribute about 20 to 25% loss reduction in post harvest losses will be more pulses available for human consumption losses can be minimized by adopting proper techniques just before before harvesting harvesting at appropriate crop maturity stages minimize scattering losses in the field and selection of suitable threshers and adjustment in threshers 
settings will reduce the breakage of grains during threshing. Before selling the produce to the mandis, there is no need. Uh, there is need to clean, grade, and dye the seed as per FCI and or NAFED procure, procurement norms. Cleaned and dried grains can be safely stored for longer duration with the standard storage practices commonly adopted for wheat and padding in jute bag system. Pulse milling is the third largest processing industry after wheat and rice. About 70% of pulse production is consumed after processing. Husk removal and splitting of pulses is the most common primary processing operation. Presence of gummy layer in between seed coat and the cotyledons make milling of pulses difficult. Based on quality and quantity of gums, pulses are classified easy to differ. Easy or difficult to mill kind of pulses. Chickpea, lentil, and peel pea can be milled easily, whereas pigeon pea, earth pea, and moon bean are difficult for milling point of view. Various pre milling treatments are followed up across the country to loosen the seed coat. Water soaking followed by the sun drying is the most common pre treatment adopted at cottage scale level or commercial scale milling or oil and water application followed by sun drying is the most prevalent method. Presently, the most of the pulses produced are stored in the centralized go-downs and milled in urban areas. About 60% population of the country still resides in rural area are bound to purchase finished dal at higher prices. There is need to develop storage and processing facilities in production catchment to provide income and employment opportunities in rural areas. Various research organizations have developed mini dal mills, about 100 kg per hectare uh, per hour capacity. Mini dal mills are developed by CFTRI, CIAE, PKV, and ICAR IAPR, which are commercially available and can be adopted for cottage scale for processing of pulses. Establishing the process facilities in rural areas also reduces the pilferage during the handling and transportation cost. Most of the mills use abrasive dehusking method using emery rollers. Successive passes through emery rolls cause scoring, scouring losses. Precious cotyledons get mixed with outer husk and result into much lower dal recovery than the potential dal recovery. In the mill developed by the IAPR, emery roller is used for fitting the scratching of grain surface for ease of absorption of oil or water applied for pre-treatment. After treatment, the treated grains are milled in rubber steel vertical chakti mechanism for soft husting and splitting. This results into 5 to 10 percent higher dal recovery. Though with 10 to 15 percent husk over dal, powdering loss is less in mill. The mill is commercial available at the IAPI. In the commercial mills where milling is performed with emery rollers, is in repeated passes, powdering of cotyledon takes place. Though it gives better finish but leads to lower dal recovery. About 15% cotyledons get mixed with husk and goes for low value animal feed. At IIPR, efforts were made to use this nutritionally rich milling byproduct, byproduct for edible purpose. Milling, milling byproduct is a rich in protein, phenols, and antioxidants. Various value added products have been developed from the milling byproducts. We have also developed agribusiness incubator facilities in the area of pulse processing at our institute. Operation of dal mills developed by our institute is available on YouTube link. So, besides this, uh, these pulses are used for many products, for making many snacks, papad, paddies, and most uh, important that our bikanari bhujia it is uh, is the 
product of pulses in which mort b and chick b flow is used for pre preparing bicanary bhujia which is very common snacks and so we have to develop just papa industry and badiya badi industries at our rural uh, area level for the farmers so they can prepare value added product from various pulses and they increase the income and also get the benefit of growing pulses so in the last i will say that this uh, webinar will be very useful and discussion throughout the day will give us some conclusion and i express my sincere thank to director niftem sanjawur for giving me the opportunities for to interact with the participants and the students and other scientists thank you very much thank you so much sir for providing us such informative insights uh, now the respective chief guest of today's webinar dr sham narayan ja sir deputy director general division of agriculture engineering icar new delhi sir has completed phd in agriculture and food engineering from iit kharagpur and jsps post doctoral from kochi university japan major professional achievements are development and commercialization of process and machinery for popping of makhana and their value added products mechanized system for manufacturing chana ball for continuous manufacture of rasgulla and pioneering research on the non destructive methods of quality evaluation of food in india according to the stanford university usa study for year 2019 and lifetime citations dr s n jha is listed amongst the top 2% scientists across all the disciplines of research in the world sir has authored more than 270 research papers chapters in books proceedings and patents and author or editor of five books including book on non destructive evaluation of food quality theory and practice by springer and rapid detection of food adulterants and contaminants theory and practice by azevier are highly cited in the literature major areas of professional interest are non destructive methods of quality evaluation of foods development of new food products or processes and machinery design and development of storage structures for fruits and vegetables consultancy for established agro food processing centers and training lectures for saving foods etc sir has been awarded with number of awards and few of them are the best first best alumni award 2020 of cae dr r p c a pusa bihar best research paper award 2019 of journal of agriculture engineering and gold medal 2018 of indian society of agriculture engineers for outstanding contributions to science and society we welcome you sir may i now request sir to please address the gathering thank you madam first i thank you dr anand krishnan to invite me and fortunate that i could also get time <laughs> because since i joined i was not stabilized 15 days last 15 days fortunately since yesterday now i am on time in everything so thank you very much for giving this opportunity and wonderful really the niftem now niftem but it was in heart was i a pity always <laughs> so we have to be habitual now niftem only so uh, it is in the core of our heart always for uh, of uh, we born in the processing food processing post harvest and the institute put it for that so whenever we hear about your achievement your activity new activity and particularly the present director till he joined always we hear very very innovative work and innovative initiatives and that that actually thrilled us and uh, this team tanjabul has gone a long way and now i think in the last 5 6 years everyone knows very well now come to the topic pulse processing you see we indians are mostly pulse eaters rice or pulse men eaters our director dr um, cg has already cg has already 
on light on pulse research, particularly in the um, production side, and he has also on light on processing machinery developed by IAPR. IAPR Dal milling machine is very famous and good, good working Dal milling machine, you can say, at domestic level or a smaller level. We, uh, we produce, uh, as yeah, 25.7 million tons, something like that. That is around 25% of total production of the world. But we consume 27% of the total production of the world. So uh, still we are around 2% deficit and we have to produce. Many times we see that uh, production, I do not know how long we should go produce, produce, produce. And because we have the limited land, we have limited land, it's other resources, even limited manpower. Now very very few people want to do cultivations. I do not know how many people want to go to the field in soil and puddling and other things. So number of farmers are reducing because the old farmers are aging. So we have to, being a Dr. Anandar and Krishna himself, a chemical engineer, we have to find out some alternative. Alternative to feed the humankind in the world in the future. That research should start from IIP, that Nipton now, and from this side, that what alternative way of feeding the people in, not cultivation. Cultivation is age old, uh, hundreds of years, 200 years, till the human civilization came, cultivation is there. So now we have to think of agriculture engineer, chemical engineer, biotechnology, multidisciplinary teams should be made to think of first that uh, what should be the alternative to feed the people without doing the cultivation using swine, water, and so other things. I am working on that, but uh, very few people are coming forward to work with us. So let us work together on that research front. Uh, we, we may not get uh, much, much uh, appreciation for this kind of research now, but I am sure that we will die after 20 years, 30 years, then people will realize that what we had started that really had kept the India in the forefront. This is the research front. Uh, this is my main, main motto being a DDG that how to promote the alternative way of production of foods. It is not only for pulse, for any kind of foods. Now come to the pulse processing. Pulse processing is also usual methods and we all have a study to find some methodology. Three, sometimes three also. So those things are there. But uh, main problem is the environment in the pulse processing industry. If you have, I do not know how many people have visited that, how dusty, how, how dusty that area is. You cannot be there for a long time. So we have to see that also from research point of view, how to make them how to make the machinery so good that there should be no dust. If dust is there, then dust collection should be, dust collection system should be provided in such a way that the environment should be completely clean. About loss, they have already told, but we have observed loss, maximum loss during harvesting and threshing. Maximum loss is during harvesting and threshing. We are still lacking in the harvester part pulse crop particularly, and uh, people are working for that, but it is not so easy of doing that, uh, and loss is more there. And also we see that harvest tracers are there, pulse, pulse, pulse tracers are there for different pulse crop, but what farmer is doing, particularly in Maharashtra, I do not know how many people are from Maharashtra, they are buying one uh, thresher and using for multiple crop. Even they are using many times for wheat thresher for pulse, pulse threshing. So that damages the grain a lot. And after if grains are damaged, then you cannot store for longer. So they should be, be prohibited. They should be convinced that use only the designated thresher. You can give some charge to some other person and get um, your pulse threshed. Earlier tracing where I still pick people are tracing using the animals are by hand. And there I have I have been victim of those the dust and in our tracing yard in villages. And we are we are we are tracing by we see sticks. Some most of the time sticks 
and uh, sometimes by using the animal feeds and other things. So those things should be completely removed. We have all kinds of machines, the threshing machines. So environment uh, health is more important, you see. Nowadays, the, due to dust, your nose will sneeze, and then people will tell that you have the corona, you have the so-and-so disease, your lungs is not good. So first is the importance is your health. Any, 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 any entrepreneurs, any farmers' health is more important than anything else. So use the machinery, buy the machinery from your neighbor nearby, and um, have a good environment, have a good health first. I remember uh, when I joined as an ADG six years back, immediately after that, there is a pulse crisis in the country. And a uh, lot of, lot of secretary were calling me here and there, there. But the suggestion which I suggested at that time, none of them accepted that suggestion. And I request all the entrepreneurs, whoever are here, they can start pulse milling at home itself. Not by hand, but by machine. We have, as the doctor, uh, director IAPR has already told that he has IAPR model of machinery. And also one CIE model of machinery is also there. CFET model has also come. But the most important, and in my view, I am not biased because I am for whole India, DDG, so I am not biased, but the most important and good, the best machine is uh, the pulse milling machine of Akola. Akola University you must be knowing that pulse, that is a very small machine. Now multi multi grain, multi pulse, multi grain pulse milling can be done. And really, it is the best, and you can get up to 75, 80% sometimes recovery of the pulse. And very small cost, maybe less than one lakh. So I request each and every farmer to install that machine in their villages. And that hardly requires um, maybe 20 feet or 10 feet plants. Anywhere you can install in your small room. And you sell your pulse after processing one leaf. Not sell as such. That is my first session. Machinery are available. If manufacturer address you want, you write to us or you write to director IPT. That if them, they, they will provide you the address of manufacturer. There are so many manufacturers of that machine. And lakhs of machines have been already, already sold and being particularly mostly used in Maharashtra area. But in northern area where we have very less number of domestic level pulse milling. Whatever you are doing, that you are doing that atta chakki or hand chakki like these things. So those things should be uh, adopted. Then uh, we have to also think the pulse uh, as a APC agro processing center. I, I, that Ministry of Food Processing is already, already giving the finance for uh, APC agro processing clusters development. And pulse is the one of the best things. And we have all kinds of machinery available, as small as much as 10 kg, 15 kg, 20 kg. As Dr. Director Niftim has in the beginning told that you can start with 5 lakh, 10 lakh. I say you can start your business with 10,000, 20,000. You can get a small machine of 20,000, 30,000. Start buy a packaging machine, good packaging machine, and get printed it and start selling from your neighbors. Then that, that actually the ODOP will work. You have to develop the cottage industry. Process, produce, don't sell. What people want, people want from government, the minimum support price so that they can produce and sell immediately. Friends, you should not sell immediately. I say that you store, you process, clean, grade, Minimum and then stored and then process after processing, packaging, and then surely you will get more and more return. Your your children will get the white color job just like a CEO of the company. He will be after five ten years. That is sure. I am hundred percent sure. And yesterday I had a meeting with um, Dr. M Mr. Giriraj Singh, Mr. of Rural Development. He wants that kind of establishment. He is ready to finance the unit to the self-help group in different, in different area. So we want to make the CEO, we want not, we don't want to make an employee. 
So in that case, uh, Niftim or ICR or we can help you a lot. So a structure, we have to change the presently policy processed mostly at the commercial level, big processors. Big players are there. They will not allow you even to visit inside of the, their milling, milling area. So it is better to buy a small machine and start milling there, and that, that is much, much more than the polished rice, chunkila rice. The signing rice is polished, but your rice will be signing without polishing if you use this machine. And of course, it is much more nutritious than the polished rice. So I will say that that, that, that should be done. Then come to the broken. When you use the collateral meal, broken should be minimized. And we should we should devise. We have many many kinds of uh, value added products from broken, and the recipes, our process and machinery you can get from any of the food processing niptem, sonipat niptem, Tanjavur or Sifat Ludhiana or maybe in IIPR also they have the divisions. So many other institute and can provide you. One one of the product I am remembering name I am forgetting the name Tamil this Northeast they are very very good fermented products from broken rice broken rice broken pulses so those products should also be also be explored shelf life shelf life of meal rice is already more more, more, but also we have to see that they, it should not be damaged. So proper use of machinery, proper use of tracers, proper harvesting. Harvesting is a very important thing. Another product I remember from childhood, and many people you must have, because most many of, of our age. So they just boiled, boiled rice, whole grain boiled rice, boiled pulses were being eaten. But now it is not available here and there. And also we have seen, particularly in chickpea, just a uh, um, to mature grain are roasted with a whole plant. Just bring the plant from the field and put in the flame of the fire. We used to do it in childhood. And also people used to do for weeks. And that roasted grain is very much uh, in demand, particularly in lorry time. Lorry time and that that 14th of January, every all India is celebrating some kind of some kind of uh, festivals. So in that time, it is much more famous. But that can be a very potential potential product for Indian markets, and slowly slowly it may go to the outside. So these two products, in my view, which is a traditional product, and we should promote. We should uh, help to. Uh, does not require much more investment, does not require much more research, just hand holding by the scientist and uh, will power by the entrepreneur that they can do differently. They should not do different things, they should do one or two things and do differently. Just like two products, three products, you have to be expertise in either one. You select one or two, uh, you should be known for that product. If you will put your hand in different products, you may get lost here and there. So it is better you should have a mastery in one product and go beyond the boundary of that product. That is my suggestion. Then quality, uh, modern, dal, the modern dal meals are there. And I have told that for, since this is for entrepreneurship, one crop adopt for one district. So at district level, we have to promote the industry. So a smaller meal will be more better and better. Or uh, research I had written, I do not know Director Sahab is there or not, he is uh, our fraternity. We have to see, I am, policy is the major, major protein provided for Indians. But as I have been told, the pulse proteins, body absorption, biological value is not so good as the, you can say the animal, fish is supposed to be the idea, and then the egg. So can the breeders, can the breeders, can the chemical engineer, biotechnology should work on that? Work on that. Director Sahab, I'm saying this because I'm saying what the breeders should do. What should the breeders do? What is more than that? I think people should understand Hindi. What is it? Many times I say the story that 
people give a surah and then then one elephant and then say that you put this elephant into the surah so engineers are having the problem problem of mechanization problem of automations because the plants are of different type they flower in different time at different height so it is very difficult to mechanize the whole things so losses are more and impurities come in the more so breeders should develop with the help of the engineer engineers may give some boundary conditions recently i had gone to the switzerland and i was so happy i told her the ddg horticulture is how you need for me the apple apple plant canopy so nicely maintained that even a single person can pick each and every apple height is maintained and uniform so one machine will come and it will harvest at a time so but that that is for all the crop but for pulse i was telling the can the breeders can the any other person make a some some research that the availability of that pulse protein should be 95% to the body instead of 60 or 70%. See, 20% protein is there. Yesterday I was I was comparing in the Giraj Singh right in front of Bakhitola and Makana having only 10-12%. Then so I told, okay, but 12% is absorbed by the body. Out of 12 gram, 11 gram is absorbed by the body. And pulse, 20%, cause 60% only 12 gram. That is also only 12, 12 gram. So we should do we should do the research in basic research that how the protein availability of pulse should be absorbed by the body maximum because I am talking because Dr. Anand is of that he has done he has done a very very fundamental work he has the machine to measure that how much your body can absorb the particular nutrients so Niftem can help in that regard because they have the mastery of that so together breeders. Processors, chemical engineer, biotechnology should work on that direction because no one will learn. Pulse is our problem. Whether we are importing from Australia, importing from Canada, but they are not going to do the these basic research. These basic research we have to do. So how to improve the availability of protein from pulse to our body? If we are successful even in 20 years, most of the malnutrition due to protein will be solved. Another thing for protein availability, as most of you have told, our wild seed, though it is not the wild seed, all wild seed cakes are exported and then protein isolates are coming to the country. Now we have the technology and entrepreneurs should think that how to make the isolate from the protein cake of the wild seeds. So those kind, those kinds of work should be uh, promoted more and more. I am taking a little bit more over time but uh, it is uh, my duty my duty to take not uh, as a research as a duty of duty uh, that what country needs what we want then uh, come to the quality quality is also but color sorted for rice is very much well well uh, available and utilized but for pulse it is not much though i have seen here in pulse market in delhi i have gone to talk market personally And I have seen that they write the sortex, uh, based the sorter. Um, it is uh, sorting grading has done by the color sorter, but not, but not. So we should think that, that how we can uh, remove that. How size uniformity index? I do not know. Uniformity index of the pulse grain, the split pulse, gota. How how we can develop and how people can make the different packets. That I am talking for inter entrepreneurs. When I am telling that you want to do the simply pulse pulse marketing, then you should do the marketing of pulse in different grade. Broken, 10% broken, 30% broken, no broken, rota, and you should write that assured quantity of protein so and so much. So all those parameters have to be written on the packets. So they should be equipped with the this sorting, grading, and quality determination technique. Another important things are the cookability of cookability index. I do not know breed, uh, during breeding they must be must be looking after. I do not know because uh, uh, never I have been associated with any breeding programs. 
So a lot of ICR and different SAUs have released numerous number of varieties of pulse. But think, why, why only few are famous? Because people are not accepting. And one of the one of the most important things that many dals are taking a lot of time in cooking. Lot of the so lot of energy, and housewives don't want to cook longer. And now, particularly nowadays and in future, they will, people will have no time. So one of the processing parameters during breeding must be cookability index. Minimum cooking, minimum cooking loss, disintegration of grain should be as less as possible. That that has to be seen, and uh, that that is one of the parameter. And the uh, entrepreneur can write their packet a minimum time of cooking. A short cooking time only five minutes, or a short cooking time only twenty minutes. Surely everyone will go for the packets which are written that a short cooking time is only five minutes, and then you can you can increase the price of that. Though the dal is the same. But only leveling is different. I want to say that you must have some some session on leveling. Leveling is very important for interpretation. So they, they should also be trained in that direction. Then the most important thing which are left over that crop residue. Whenever you, we talk about ODOP, then we should not only talk about one grain. We should talk about the complete biomass of particular crop. Complete well, so around 20 to 30 percent. If you see the biomass at the time, are about 30 percent weight by weight is the crop residue. And that crop residue I have used in my village, I still used to go to my village at least once or twice and see that how they, they are just kept in the threshing yard like anything. We utilize it for fire during winter. We utilize sometimes for animal feeds, but that is the mostly cellulose. I think uh, Dr. Rama Krishna, knowing that it may be around 70, 80% of cellulose containing that. How to convert that into some more utility, more, I, I say sometimes food, but uh, any, any other high value products, crop residue. So whoever is engaged in the pulse business in photo or any other way, they should also utilize, they should buy the field, they should not buy the grain. They should just like, a, you see, mango orchard is by, bought. By the businessmen who are engaged in business, they buy the mango orchard. So similarly, the youth should buy the field of, field of the pulse. And then they should think that how to utilize the complete biomass. That, that should also be uh, given some some kind of um, uh, importance in this training and exposure exposure uh, uh, material, they, they should be told that how to utilize these those things. Then some of the traditional foods I have told you, we have one new machine we have uh, we have about uh, developed and now it is licensed for manufacturing that is body making machine body is a tedious method and mostly from dal, pulse, pulse it is made. So very good machine has been commercialized by Shifat Ludhiana and anyone is interested, they can write to the director and have a start. But I said you venture each of you one or two products, not more than that. So that is, that is, these are the things uh, from my side. I am not the pulse person. But uh, whatever exposure I have, being the son of a farmer and visiting villages and looking after um, our fellow scientists working in this and my feeling. So I have expressed my view, maybe something good, something bad. So thank you very much. And I, I will be hearing because fortunately I don't have any meeting in formal. So I will be hearing all the lectures. Uh, so I will be working to see the benefit of this. And I'll get educated uh, whatever is being presented in this. So uh, thank you, Director Saab, and thank you, Sinija. Thank you, Madam Jo Kartia. I do not uh, know her name. So for inviting me, and thank you. Uh, thank you so much, sir, for inspiring us with those informative insights. It's an honor and privilege for us to have you for the today's webinar. Thank you once again. Now, may I now invite Dr. R. Mahindran, sir, 
Associate Professor and Head of the Center of Excellence in Non-Thermal Processing, Niftam Thanja, would to deliver a formal vote of thanks, please. Uh, thank you, uh, Silky. Uh, on behalf of Niftam Thanja, our family, I would like to thank our Chief Guest, Dr. Esen Jasa, uh, uh, who had uh, honored this function with his in inspirational thoughts. Uh, thank you so much, sir, uh, for giving uh, your advice on alternative ways to uh, feedings, pulse processing, and various missionaries on the uh, pulse milling, and also uh, quality aspects of pulse processing, and uh, your advice on mastering on one particular product, uh, and also creating more CEOs uh, than the employees, and uh, complete utilization of biomass of uh, pulses. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, and as a token of love and gratitude, I'd, I'd like to uh, invite Director Nibdam, sir, to honor the chief guest with the momentum. Sir, we will send you by post, sir. Thank you, sir. This is uh, Tanjavur painting, sir. <clears throat> Next, I would like to uh, thank... Uh, uh, I have already very gift, uh, very good gift for you when I had visited uh, Saraswati, local mill. <laughs> Thanks. Next, I would like to uh, thank uh, the guest of honor uh, as given by Dr. Sir Sevak, Director, ICR Indian Institute of Pulses Research Conference. Sir. Thank you so much, sir, your uh, uh, statistics on the production and various uh, work which is happening at IABR is very well taken by the participants. I would like to invite Director, sir, to uh, honor the uh, Director IABR with the momentum. Thank you, sir. We will send you by post, sir. Thank you, sir. I would also uh, like to thank all the uh, uh, eminent uh, uh, speakers uh, who are going to deliver the industry perspective on the pulse processing and value addition. As well as uh, uh, in the later afternoon, we will be having a technical session on PMFME guidelines, food safety, FSSA guidelines, packaging, and DPR for the pulse processing and value addition. Uh, and I would like to also thank uh, PMFME team at Nirtam Tanjavur for organizing all this program. Uh, also, uh, Director Nirtam for supporting us, uh, conducting all this uh, webinar for the 11th time on uh, this particular webinar series. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, everyone.